right, all right, the recording started. All right, so I'll just post both the, the links for it. Um, is the camera in, like, is it in focus to you guys? Because to me, it looks a little out of focus. Oh, it's a little better now. All right, well, whatever. Okay, so here's what I'm going to do to make sure that it's clear. I am talking about a different magnetic field than the other rule. The other rule is just purely the field that came from the wire. Now, this field is the external and by external, I mean not coming from the wire that we're talking about. Okay, so your thumb is still the direction of the current. That is exactly the same as in the, second, uh, the, the first law that we talked about. Your fingers are still the magnetic field, but now they're the external magnetic field. They're coming from some other source, like a uh, permanent magnet. I feel like I should wait a little bit because I see a lot of people are... Maybe it's the whole internet, right? I see people coming kind of in and out. Hold on a second, guys. All right. I see people coming in and out. I am recording this, though. So just, just realize that if you miss something, or it, the video will be there. That's why I'm recording it. For exactly this reason. Stupid internet. All right. We have one more thing now. So we only used our thumb and our fingers for the first right-hand roll, but now we're going to use our palm. And I'm sorry, I did not put the word direction, but I should have put the word direction. Your fingers are the direction of the external magnetic field. And in this case, your palm will represent the direction of the force acting on the wire. Okay, I'm going to do one or two examples here, and then I'm going to do one or two examples on the board behind me, and I'm going to ask you guys to do the ones on the board behind me just as a practice, and then I'll give you the answers for them. So, so let's take a look. So this time, it will be drawn slightly differently. Okay, so first, let me draw a magnetic field. I'm going to draw a nice, uniform magnetic field. Okay, so let's imagine that we've created a magnetic field. I don't know where it's coming from. There's maybe some permanent magnets or electromagnet or something. Something is producing an electric field in this region of space, and I'm going to place a wire in that magnetic field with current. Okay, so now is the time to take your right hand and try and line everything up. What I generally try to do is I usually will try to line up the current first. I try to get my thumb in place. So look, I'm gonna be using my thumb, my fingers, but this time my fingers will not be curved. In fact, actually, let's put that uh, on the side here. Just so when you go back, we can reinforce how this roll works. You don't curl your fingers this time. Now you keep your fingers straight. And because look, look at the arrows. The arrows for B are not curved. They're straight lines. I created a uniform magnetic field. I put the wire in there. And now I want to know the direction of the force. So the thing that's really important about this is that your thumb and your fingers are at right angles to each other. That's why we're using these. That's why the right-hand rule exists. You naturally have a part of your body that forms a nice right angle very easily. But there's actually another right angle. Because imagine the force coming out of my palm. So my thumb and my fingers and the force coming out of my palm are all perpendicular to each other, right? Perpendicular to this guy, also perpendicular to this guy. Okay, so all three of these things are mutually perpendicular to each other. And what your right hand is going to allow you to do is to visualize all three of them simultaneously so that you can work out what the direction of the force or the current or uh, it might be the case of the external magnetic field. Okay, so let's take a look at this one. So first thing I'm going to do is my thumb doesn't easily turn this way, so I'm going to turn the whole drawing. Okay, I'm going to lay my thumb down right here. So now my question is, are my fingers pointed correctly? The answer to that question, yes, they are pointed correctly. Look, my finger, my thumb is pointed with I. My fingers are pointing this way, which is the direction of B. And now my palm is going to tell me the direction of the force. And the direction of that force is into the page. Because look at my palm. It's pushing into the page. And part of the thing I like about the palm idea is because you can imagine your palm pushing. It's as though my palm is pushing on the wire in the direction that the magnetic force is, is pointed. So for this one, I would say that the magnetic force was into the page. Was into the page. Okay, let me put one more on video, and then we'll, we'll go to the board, and we'll wrap this up. Uh, let's do this one a little differently. How about if we have the magnetic field go this way? And let's have the wire current be coming out of the page. 
Okay, so same thing. First thing that I'm going to want to do is, first of all, I'm going to take my hand, I'm going to do this. I'm going to make it flat, and I'm going to make my thumb perpendicular to my fingers. That's step one. Get your hand in the right shape for this particular rule. The first rule was curled like this, as though you were literally holding the wire and wrapping your finger around it. Okay, but now the second rule is keep them straight. And most importantly, keep that thumb nice and perpendicular. Don't do this. Don't get sloppy, man. That's not perpendicular. Get it perpendicular to your fingers. Okay, and then your palm represents the other perpendicular aspect to it. So I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to keep my hand nice and straight. And look, I've got my thumb pointed in the right direction. I said that the current is coming out of the page. It's pointing right into the camera. And there's my thumb also doing the same thing. Now the question is, are my fingers oriented correctly? No is the answer to that question. I need to rotate either my hand. So look, I'm keeping my thumb the same. This is really important. Once you get one thing lined up, don't let it change. That's going to make a mess. You're going to go around in circles. And in the end, you're going to be like, I still don't understand it. And I've been spending 10 minutes on a problem that literally should take 10 seconds. And that's being generous. I mean, 10 seconds is you really taking your time to answer this question because it so, has such a clear answer. It's not deep. You're not being asked to explain anything. You're simply asked to identify what the direction is. So now that my thumb is pointed in the correct direction, my fingers are pointed in the correct direction to match up with the magnetic field, which points down the page. Now I can see that the magnetic force on this wire must be in this direction. Okay, so I'm just going to lay my pen right here. I'll flip the whole thing back around. And I know now that the force on this wire is to the right. That also has direction, so probably a good idea to put that vector uh, symbol on there. All right, let me stop the video.